Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and this is Prison Architect. We had just, yeah, it's about 9.25, and I was not really paying attention to the time, both in the game as well as when I was recording, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but it was about 37, 38 minutes that was recorded in that last episode, so yeah, about that. Anyway, we did bring in a bunch of prisoners that I didn't realize it and indeed we are fortunately just under our safe capacity although apparently we've added f another four more maximum security because we were at 10 I think interesting and uh, yeah look at that execution room alright so we have our prisoners here we apparently brought in 11 or 12 prisoners fortunately we had a number of prisoners get released yeah, 26 prisoners were released. We have a reoffending re rate of 17%. Oh, that's even better than we had last time. Our prison value is down to 640. 14 have been paroled early. None have reoffended. We had a death. Oh, bother. Someone died, and I had no clue that it happened. I have no idea what I was doing when that happened, but uh, it looks like we are up to 199 cells, so that is good. We have maximum capacity of 24 for the maximum security. We have 8 supermax. So the Supermax has them taken care of. Canteen. Yeah, although... Yeah, I'm going to give them a canteen. Let's just throw it down. I was going to take a look at my prisoners, but... Uh, yeah, squirrel. <laughs> uh, oh. Alright, so... With that said, let's uh, go back to... Oh, that's right. This is shared. I or staff only. All right. So yeah, they are okay. Good. They, there's enough tables there for them. All right. So back to the prisoners. These are our prisoners. We have. If we go to informants, stoical and fearless. We don't know what he he is. Or is it him? Is it him, Stasi? Kevin Copper Stasi? What do you have here? Aggravated vehicle theft. Aggravated vehicle theft? Interesting. That's a new one. Brought to the jail to investigate the disappearance of an inmate. Kevin soon realized everything was not as it originally seemed, and maybe. He had been an inmate. All along, creating the story of the missing prisoner in order to deal with his past. Interesting. Why would you do that? You have a girlfriend. <laughs> Plea of not guilty for aggravated vehicle theft. Nine years. You've served 2.0 years right now. Yep. Alright, well, we have a reoffending chance of 6%, so that's not that bad. But, our death row prisoner, Paul Rogers, age 35, sentenced to 25 years for multiple crimes, including murder, torture, and aggravated assault. He has a wife, 38 years old, daughter, 5, mother, 62, father's 58. And these are his convictions. Wow. Let's see. I think we have a new record because if he gets clemency, he's going to have a crap ton of time. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120, 120, yeah, about 130 or 140 years to serve. <laughs> yeah, so would you rather spend the rest of your effective life in be in prison or would you like to ha just go to the chair right now 
and yet you've pled guilty to everything. So, anyway, we're not going to deal with that. We're not going to worry about that. But, uh, yeah. Grant completion payment. We have 200 cells. Unavailable is 21. That's no problem. Right now we have... There's just uh, three more. Yep, these three need to be taken care of. They're missing a toilet. Objects. These are missing shower heads. They're also missing drains. They are missing toilets. They got their drains, yep. They got all those taken care of. And so... Oh, no drains here. So yeah, they are taking care of their shower needs. Alright, so at this point, uh, things are going well. And uh, yeah, we are making some license plates. We're still up to 23%. Stack. Those are blanks. Cell object. Cell object. We still have not had someone pass the foundation education program. How are we doing for our programs here? There are five that passed the workshop. That's good. We have had 31 interest. Or three, <laughs> We have 31 interested, we have 10 finished, 4 passed. And what I am going to do is deployment or logistics, prison labor, qualified prisoners 2. Okay. Foundation education, behavioral therapy. There's 15 in queue. Pharmacological treatment of drugs, 13 in queue, 26 finished, 18 have passed. That's a pretty good number. Alcoholics group therapy, all right. Guard taser certification, we've had six finished, five have passed, 30 are in queue. And we are currently looking at some parole hearings, five are in queue. Does that say there? Yep, five prisoners up for parole. 36 have finished, 17 have passed. So we're at about 50-50. Uh, Spiritual guidance, 49 in queue, 150 have finished, and 56 of those have passed, although that is a program you can do over and over and over and over again. Death Row Appeal, we have another one coming up. And yeah. Adam Hughes, 24%. Paul Rogers, 31%. So, yeah, neither have them. One have passed. Two have finished. So, yeah. Adam Hughes, you got denied clemency. And we have one available for the Carpentry Apprentice. And do we need Carpentry Apprentice? Only if we want to have... One interest qualified only if we want to produce what beds? Let my foreman and workshop session like two hours. Each prisoner requires a carpenter table. Voluntary, practical, advanced. And they have to do the workshop shop safety. Let's start the carpentry program. General education qualification. 
none are interested or qualified yes indeed so we are going to jump back into programs <laughs> we're going to edit the schedule and just make sure that all right so yeah it'll take care of in there and we'll do the carpentry apprenticeship in there yeah we'll we'll stagger them like that so that's good all right let's jump out of there and let it go on its way we are still at 200 cells let's uh, sell that object let's go to deployment so one's there we haven't had an issue with them booting off in here But what I will do, no, they should be fine. Maybe not. I'm going to boot, do a arm patrol. He'll just wander, just in case. Dog patrols. We got three going along the outside of this. We got one in here. We got one doing this round. We're going to start one there. We are going to send one through deliveries. And because we do have people here, we are going to start, we'll give them two. We don't have any there. All right, so we are going to need to hire a few more dog handlers, and we have a daily income of sixty-five thirty-nine. So let's uh, hire that. May should be good. <laughs> oh, there was some drugs in there. You had some cigarettes. And it looks like things are going quite well. What do I got for jobs? Jobs. A few uh, workman jobs, but uh, for the most part, what I am going to do Let's uh, set you to normal since we don't really need anyone to go through there. I am going to do some flooring. And I am going to need to lay down some paths for reasons. I haven't decided what I'm going to use for my paths. Let's put in some grass here. And, uh, yeah, they, are they leaving? It is 6 p.m. right now, getting close to 7. So, yeah, they are probably on, heading the way out. No one's up for parole. Well, there are eight up for parole, but not right away. We are going to give them some grass. I will put in grass like oh bother the auto seed happened I'm going to do grass like that no I'm gonna leave that put some grass around the outside of the they have been segregated so this is now going to be minimum security this is going to be medium security a 
Although at this point, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to need some. Where are they? Objects, metal detectors. And I'm going to put in grass through this. And I am going to give too deep. Actually, I'll do that and then cancel that and cancel that. to do some concrete tiles like this and I will probably do them through here just so that Throw in some more grass right here. And then I'll do something on the inside. Although what I'll probably do, gravel from here to there. Yep, gravel through that. Same thing with here. Actually, what I might do instead I'm going to do this. Like that. that and like yep all right let, let, let's get them going doing that what is our prisoner capacity currently we have 55 minimum security, 58 normal security, 14 maximum security. Oh, three protective custody. It looks like another one has once again been released. Who do we have left? We got Hor, Haworth, and Lumbert. Who was the other guy? We had Kenway, he got released. Hor, Haworth, and Lumbert. Hmm. There was one other guy. Failed, minimum five by five, what? Oh, don't tell me that, uh,
What's this? Oh, seriously? Really? This is no longer a staff room. Wow, that is retarded. I don't like that change. Yeah. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I believe in the latest alpha, um, there is an entry there where the room size only checked for the bounding box. So in this case, this staff room was technically a nine by nine room, according to, cause it was nine by nine, but it actually is no longer four by four. Because it has technically failed. Because it isn't 4x4. Four four. That is retarded. So yeah, my... Uh, security office has now failed because it's no longer a 4x4. Four four, because there is a 4x4 four four staff room in here. I'd really love to see them roll back that change. Because this open concept office... Like, why not have a uh, staff room in here? It's kind of retarded that you have to have it as its own separate room. That would mean in my previous prison, the, the parole room, which I had put in here, and I kind of cut off the room a bit, that would have failed as a parole room. This library, it fails because it's not 5x5. Five five. Oh, the common room. <laughs> yeah, the common room doesn't need to be any minimum size, so it is not. Library. Yes, I don't like this change. Alright, so that has to be a minimum of 5 by 5. Thank you. That is retarded. Which means I don't have a security office. Seriously? At this point, what I'm going to have to do, well, the easiest thing to do in this case is to do where's staff room? Where is staff room? It'll be four by four like that. And then security, I'm going to have to do that. And that works. But this can't be a staff room. All right, well, I don't like that change. I can understand why they would make the change because there were certain things you can get away with by not having you know, the minimum of, you know, say a two by three, for instance, I could have technically made these cells say like this, an L, where they only have literally four spaces like that. Cut off this so they don't actually have a full six squares. What I think would make sense is if these rooms had a certain square footage so an office needs to be 16 square feet. It doesn't have to be four by four. It could be, well, eight by two would not make any sense. But, uh, you know, like 
a staff room, 4x4 four four is 16 tiles. Yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for me today. My name is Scott for SP Gaming. Thank you for watching this episode of Prison Architect, where I discovered that, indeed, Alpha 32 messed up some things with my design. Although, on the one hand, I didn't really need two staff rooms in here. Although, it's kind of a good thing I planned to have two staff rooms. But, uh, yeah, that was a little bit annoying to find out. So, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for again for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming, and have a good day.